Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how do we prepare a soil for a blueberry and plant them. So the the soil which I'm going to plant is almost like a clay soil and we have to prepare the soil in advance for prepare uh, planting a blueberry. So if you see here uh, the soil whatever I have is like a chunk of a clay and I dig everything and uh, tilted the soil a little bit and I'm going to mix with a peat mass so that uh, it can bring down the pH level of a blueberry and normally blueberry needs around 4.5 to 5.5 pH level to grow healthier and produce a good fruit and to bring down the pH level uh, one option is you can add a peat mass to your soil and the peat mass whatever I'm just mixing here is almost not most of the time it will be all dry so you have to just make it wet before mixing it to the soil if you mix it to the soil and then it's hard to make it wet so I'm just see here if I'm, I'm trying to make it uh, wet and uh, once it's thoroughly wet then you can just go and add it to the soil so now I just it become oh, totally wet and I'm I'll be mixing it with the existing soil and uh, so the adding the pH uh, the peat mass to the soil will bring down the pH level generally the peat mass has around 3 to 4.5 a uh, pH level and uh, so it will drastically bring down the pH level over time and, and also one more thing that the peat mass will do is it will try to aerate the soil a little bit more so that the soil can breathe easily and it can hold water so that you don't have to frequently water the uh, blueberry plant. So already it's a clay soil so I have to just uh, add um, the whole back of peat mass here and then uh, mix it thoroughly. So once I mix it, uh, I'm going to add a co-menure to the soil. So this is just a general uh, to enrich the uh, soil overall. Um, so I'm just uh, uh, generously adding a co-menure to the uh, uh, thing and I will just go ahead and uh, mix it thoroughly. So um, uh, if you see here, uh, the co-menure uh, generally has uh, 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 NPK of same level 0.5 for uh, 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 nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Uh, so this is nothing to do with pH so just generally to just keep the soil healthier and um, uh, over the time it will enrich the clay soil and um, uh, this will help uh, overall uh, blueberry plants uh, growth. And now I am just trying to mix the peat mass, existing soil and the co -menure and um, so that way right uh, the, uh, the it's, it's just not only sitting on top it's just overall uh, thing so I'm planning to make it as a mound uh, so that uh, uh, the root uh, uh, is completely grown and eventually later on if I want to make it as a little bit of rice bed uh, I can just go and easily build the rice uh, bed around this uh, uh, path and so this what generally they do it um, and uh, the soil uh, I'm trying to uh, uh, plant it today so that's the reason I'm just trying to add a soil, so soil acidifier uh, this also can bring down the so soil pH mine is just a neutral soil so I'm just trying to bring down uh, a little bit uh, so that uh, uh, I can just go ahead and plant the blueberry today itself and so if you have uh, I just bought this uh, uh, blueberry plant from the nearby nursery and uh, it's a, a bright well so uh, when I checked it in the pot, it has I know that it has a three plant individual plant potted into the same uh, five gallon container. Uh, so my thought was to instead of planting all at one hole, uh, split them out and uh, plant it as a row hedge, and uh, so that way it looks clean and um, uh, and I can just prune and maintain it a little bit like a high bush instead of uh, maintaining it as a, like a low bush. Um, so I'm uh, I'm just slowly uh, uh, trying to pull the plant apart. Uh, so make sure that you don't uh, uh, break the main roots. Uh, so here, if you see, blueberry mostly has uh, the top roots and uh, it doesn't go deeper. It always stays on top. So uh, if you see here, it's all like a, a bushy root. Nothing has a main root here. Uh, and so yeah. Uh, mostly sometime when I see on the local nursery, I see whether it has more than one plant. If it's uh, more than one plant, I just always pick that thing so that I can just split it, share it with somebody or just plant it uh, in a different hole. So if you see here, I have like almost like three plant. Uh, it, the roots are healthier and uh, I just split it there. 
so if you see here i have totally a mount uh, so i plan to uh, do it on the mount uh, so that way uh, uh, this i can so that individually i can maintain this area of the soil uh, with a lower ph uh, level and i already planted the two of them and this is the third one i'm just planting and uh, make sure that you just bury the plant uh, with the existing root level um, don't bury too deep or uh, uh, don't keep it on uh, higher level so this is the uh, bright well uh, it's a rabbit eye uh, uh, blueberry it's self fertile and uh, the other one which i'm planting is the hive bush so normally it's better to mix two or two three varieties of blueberries together so that way it can just cross pollinate and it can give you a good yield of blueberry uh, the other one blue bush is um, uh, not a rabbit eye variety but it's a different variety but uh, the fruits are a little bit bigger and um, it it can grow like a, a, a bush so i'm just planning near to that uh, so that if you totally see here uh, i have four plants uh, planted like a hedge uh, on a little bit of high, higher uh, soil mount and um, um, now you just once it's planted water thoroughly make sure that it's completely um, wetted and uh, the roots are well moist and um, and and when you do it for plant it on the ground uh, uh, first time so you just make sure that you uh, water it frequently um, so until it start uh, showing up a new growth once it starts growing a new growth uh, we have added a peat moss it can hold lot of water in it so you can just uh, uh, reduce the water like um, weekly twice uh, so that way um, you don't have to water it so frequent and uh, the fertilizer also make sure that you add it once a year uh, during the spring season so that way it has a good start uh, so that it can put a lot of flowers and uh, the flowers can convert into a fruit and uh, uh, periodically you might need to check the as acid level of your soil uh, if needed you can add uh, uh, soil soil acidifier um, whenever needed to bring down the ph level because over the time it will the the soil the acid soil level will go down and it will become a neutral soil if it becomes neutral you will see that plant will stop growing and it will stop producing fruits slowly it will turn uh, the leaves will turn pale yellow and it will might die soon so make sure that you watch for the ph level of the soil and uh, So once it's uh, well watered, um, go ahead and add a mulch um, so that way uh, uh, the plants stay cool and uh, you don't have to water frequently. And I'm here adding a pine bark mulch um, that way um, uh, uh, the pH level remains same. Don't add the regular uh, hardwood mulch. Uh, this is after two weeks. Uh, see the plant looks healthier and already the peat uh, i added a mulch on top of it and added a drip irrigation for all the plants uh, so that way i don't have to water it manually and plants look healthier and uh, i see like um, uh, when i even planted there was a blueberry in it so now i see that the blueberry started arriving and uh, it's really good i just tested a couple of them and it's really good and hopefully it grows healthier high and i can produce a good yield next year thanks for watching please subscribe to this channel and i'll keep upgrading uh, more detail about this blueberry growth in upcoming videos thank you all